What is up, friend? I'm not here, and yeah, so it's been a very long time since my last action. That was like on YouTube, so. so yeah, I have two things to talk about. Number one, I've actually finished my first game gen. Woohoo! Finally, I'm a game dev. <laughs> and the next thing is, I actually, um, why I haven't uploaded in a few weeks? One month, I mean. <laughs> Almost one month. I can't even speak right now when I'm fucking tired. But, anyway, so, the only reason that I actually. Originally, I had a plan, a video plan before the uh, game jam, in case I was actually gonna talk about. I'm actually doing a game jam. In which case, the fact that I was also a bit nervous. Because, first game jam, I didn't know how it was gonna turn out. And yeah! And also talk about more um, the way in how I don't really like the too much uh, doing two part or multiple part videos. I'm planning on maybe just doing a, a longer video for um, of the full game. And yeah, but um, that's still on the uh, decision. Maybe yes, maybe not. Maybe the parts are actually good, but. Who knows? But either way, <laughs> let's get into uh, the game. Now, on Unity, it's actually very different than the game jam build because I already started doing some updates, graphic updates, and as well as rewriting some of the code. So, yeah, I'll just uh, show you guys a bit of how it turns out. So, the game is called Mutation. It's available to be played on the um, browser for free on its dial. So we got a sim controls skin. And yeah. Also, disclaimer, don't try click quitting game on WebGel. It crashes. Also If you notice the music is all different because I was the one who actually wrote it. <laughs> like the menu, I kind of um, wanted to do something more on the horror movie st style, but for the main game, I originally planned on actually putting it as a uh, reverse pitch, <laughs> pitch song, in which case it sounds more on the horror aspect. But due to WebGL not handling the ne negative pitches, I had to uh, put some. At like six or point four, so I'm on some slides. But either way, let's show around. So, as you can see, we have a very blank skybox in the back. It's just in by a solid color and a small city. Plus, you can actually move the camera a bit. Here we have a, a bit of lore. Since the theme of this gem was actually mutation, I was uh, the, I had two ideas for it. Originally, I wanted to make a dungeon crawler, idle dungeon crawler, and then as you progress through it, you start uh, unlocking mutations, and in which case it allows you to explore some of the map a bit more. But I actually scrapped that idea because when I was actually at work, I actually uh, f thought of something much better doing idle, idle mutation, <laughs> aka some sort of horror game <laughs> with idle mode. In which case, it's actually kind of fun. It was a f I was actually happy with the idea. So, for the lore, I took a bit of. Um, I actually had to research a bit of kidnapping and stuff, uh, so, especially on their mindset and stuff, so, one of the mechanics for this game is actually blood draining, because in order to, uh, I'll actually show you guys uh, when I'm actually talking on showing the prog the unity build of it, so, but, here's the first, uh, Reference. This is actually uh, one thing that I've actually done on my first game. 
and that is like a quest line. Yep, I finally learned how to make a slightly better quest line. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the door animations there are just still a bit weird. But you can actually lock and unlock doors with the right mouse button. In which case it makes it so that you, uh, you can uh, open it. Also, here's a broken camera. This is a basement. Honestly, I felt like it was kind of good, but for the first one, that's actually fine. So, here's the mine system, in which case you're actually mining a something called blood coins or different coins. It's crypto. So. There is a bit of a progression system to it. It is kind of slow. The game is like 25 to 30 minutes long. 25 to 35 minutes long. And here, I would like to thank the dishwasher at my work. Because he actually brought some corn. And he saved me a few bucks for it. Because I was actually... One of my friends actually told me, You should actually make corn hub a thing in there so <laughs> I took kind of like that idea but with the you're buying corn stocks you're investing corn I still have I have some ideas planned for this but but I don't really get into it <laughs> I want to save a few stuff for the updates and stuff but yeah. I think that's good enough for the web gel build but now let's compare the web gel build to the unity build so, so this is the just the main menu on the on unity it actually looks slightly nicer because I actually I, I figured out that Photoshop has a few uh, a few, a few textures to use, so it does actually look nicer than it did before, originally. But one other thing that I'm also working on it is I wanted to recreate um, the the fact I think it was uh, ah. I'm trying to remember the Tomb Raider game that actually had, I think, a less revelation. In which case, had a moving me menu. In which case, I thought it was nice. That was uh, what I thought when I was originally uh, making the, this menu. So, now, as we can see, we have the, a slightly more readable control screen. And you can you actually have to confirm uh, when you're actually leaving. Which case actually just looks uh, better. Now, when you click start game, it's just gonna take you to the start game of from that's being updated. So, in which case, I'll just show you. It's nothing uh, big, but it does. Uh, I do like the idea that. And um, using some sort of player because one of my ideas that I want to do is actually um, since there is a door that actually opens I want to make it so that when the player reaches a certain point of the uh, door maybe like uh, right here the door opens and then closes when the player goes through I think it's actually gonna look a slightly better. And, yep. Yeah. So, here's how the menu actually works. Now, I could actually make some, uh, I could make this as part of the leave 
use the same as it. So I might do something like that. Maybe have a book called uh, Leaving, Leaving Menu or something like that. And then if Leaving Menu, kind of like this, in which case actually just looks slightly more clean and nicer than I had just having like multiple stuff. Yeah. And here's the updated uh, version of uh, of the interacting because since I actually have a player now, originally I had a few rig, a lot of the uh, mechanics in this uh, game actually used the same same idea, aka some sort of raycast from the mouse position. And then it's uh, trying to get a component on it. Yeah, I started using a lot of uh, a lot of get try get component. I think it's just good programming. Good programming. It's better than just uh, than just uh, using get component because I was getting a lot of no errors. So, yeah, but. It, that's just simply uh, that's enough for the updates. Yes, it does look nicer than the original, but now I hope you guys don't actually mind that. But yeah, since I actually started switching the textures, it looks a bit ugly right now, and we can't even see how the textures are actually clipping because originally this one, <laughs> this one was just simply. Just has a bunch of collisions inside, so yeah, and it it just doesn't look nice, <laughs> nicer like the pre new version, but yeah, I think I can actually show the original audio. This was the actual original audio. Screw making web gel builds. <laughs> it just looks. It just uh, felt so much better. But this is probably uh, how it's gonna turn out when I update a bunch of stuff. It's a I'll show you guys the progression system. In which case, I have a progress in here. So, this is how I actually do the progress. As you can see, we have uh, our titles array, in which case, updates on the int over in int. And then, yeah. Also, I do need to cut a few things in here. But, this is actually just simply gets the animation, just plays a different animation again when you get a new obje objective. And yeah, done. It was a very simple to buy the but anyway, let's just casually abuse of the game game dev system, but to give myself a, a lot of money. Yeah. So there is a maximum of three different coins. I probably. I probably do want to make a some sort of different <laughs> different uh, coin coins right uh, when you have a uh, the different coins. I think it's gonna uh, it kind of shows a uh, I don't know what 
it just seems like uh, something nice. But some inventory here. Now, here comes the fun part. So, one of them, I think this, uh, I've actually worked uh, a lot of sprites for this game. I explored a lot of sprites. So, on the top bar, we have the current, what you're gonna sacrifice for a mutation and stuff. Yeah. Here we have a victim kidnapped and victim killed, plus police alarm and a blood container. So, so yeah, let's see. Let's kidnap someone. Right. Also, I messed up, uh, mess around with a different system to start a countdown. And here's the gods. I'll just let the alarm uh, ring it. <laughs> yeah. So, I think you guys saw a few times uh, that when the cup you leave the cops uh, running for too long, uh, you do actually... You do actually... Uh, lose some money. Probably should make uh, you lose even more money. But... Yeah. Now... I'll show, just show the... Mutation. <laughs> Yeah, avoid cops because uh, it does get. Even though it's uh, probably like one of my uh, favorite sound effects in this game. Yeah. yeah. There is somewhat of a. Every 5,000 uh, blood, you can actually cause a mutation. And yeah, let's avoid them, click and send. So, disclaimer for the web gel build. So, on the web gel, this is probably not gonna work. This part is not gonna work too well because the way web gel handles camera, you, your mouse goes off uh, screen and it doesn't really, uh, it just means it leaves you locked in like a, a certain area. But because of the, this is, it. if it was a, Normal downloadable link, it would have worked slightly better. But since this is also not WebGL and stuff, it does look nice. And we can see how bad the. Uh, oh, I don't have a skybox. <laughs> but it did make the. Uh, it did work kind of well for like a, a sort of night sky. Also, all the buildings have different. Uh, Different costs. So. In which case, here's the script. So, I have a public ending here, and then yeah. Originally, I was planning on having a uh, having some sort of uh, coroutine. So, I but I got lazy and I just uh, allowed them. They were guys to destroy this uh, instantly. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna make something like that. Uh, also, I definitely wanna fix a uh, fix one thing. In which case, the, you see the the ending cutscene actually played up uh, when. We have one building, so I still have to fix them. So yeah. Anyway, thank you all for coming. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. But first, I'll show you guys a bit more of the script. So here's the way the laptop works. 
Laptop is just taking the current screen and sending it on. This is what keeps track of um, the stocks. Yeah, it looks kind of nice. But, yeah. It's a very simple uh, way of making uh, different pages. The inventory is slightly more complex, but this is the basis of it. So we ha we have th this one just simply to update the items that you currently have. It just display the displays the amount of items that you have on the inventory, and this one just simply adds to the inventory. It's a very simple way of actually making it a. a inventory system especially if you're I wouldn't recommend for RPG games because this system I don't know how to make a RPG inventory so I never really made it but this actually works for like a very simple stuff so if you guys want a simple inventory just take the the item and add to the inventory him. This will cause the victim. This is the the machine. Since I, it's uh, gonna be at zero, it's gonna read this. In which case, that uh, actually uh, changes changes the game, the quest, and then this so, very simple. Very simple scripts. It just took me a, like a, a bit of a, a brain power for it. Also, here's the door. That I didn't want to uh, show the cops yet, but here's how the door works. It just takes a. It's just simple. Yeah. I probably still have to fix a bit more stuff, but hey, this is the cops, uh, the cops script. I definitely have to make this better because I don't like how. Uh, because one thing that I gotta point out, since I have a button that which case uh, avoids the uh, arrest time, I actually. I don't like the fact that you can just simply spam because when you click this it sets this time to 30 and you guys can keep clicking and, uh, and I'll kind of make it 30 in which kind of it's kind of makes it pointless so I definitely have to fix that just try to be more challenge and yeah so yeah well, it does look uh, like fun. <laughs> it was actually... I'll just give my final thoughts on the game jump. It was actually very fun. Honestly, I haven't actually worked this hard on a, a game project in, in like so long. Like, don't get me wrong, I actually spend a long time developing games. Mostly uh, if I'm ever uh, bored for... If I ever... Whenever I'm bored, I just go out and develop games. It's very fun. So, thank you all for coming. If you guys enjoyed this video, the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Also, if you guys want to play the game, it's free on itch.io. So, yeah. I'll leave the link in the description. Peace out, brothers.